and welcome back to... I didn't do it. Didn't do what? I didn't do it. Didn't do what? That? Uh, I thought that killed. I guess not. Uh, I think it just shot phasers to stun. I fucking guess so. And something about stone speak. Mm. You'd think a shaman would have a magical spell that could comprehend all languages. It would be the easy solution. I mean, there's a spell in D&D &D that does that. Yeah. Not speak all languages, just comprehend them. Yeah. There's a separate spell to speak them. Which, uh... It'd be really funny to use them differently. <laughs> I want to speak all languages. I, have no I, idea I don't want to know what I'm, I'm saying. saying. Yeah. <laughs> like, I honestly think it'd be more fun to comprehend all languages than to speak all languages. Yeah. Well, it'd also be more useful. Yeah. Because there's ways of communicating without. Uh... Yeah. As long as you can understand what people are saying. Also, if anyone like spoke to another uh, in another language behind your back. Yeah. Like, insulting you. You could just be like, I know what you're saying, and I don't appreciate that. <laughs> well, not to mention, like, that catches people off guard, too, when they don't expect you to know what they're talking about. Exactly. They give you this face where it's just like, <gasps> what? What? Oh. <laughs> what are you talking about? I didn't, I didn't say nothing. You don't, you don't know what I'm saying, and then you just repeat literally what they said back at you? Yeah. Back at them? And they just sit there horrified? Yeah. I wish I knew the more languages. Yeah, but, I mean, languages are hard to learn. Yeah, but our school system's never really tried. Like, you absorb more knowledge when you're a child. Yeah. When you're, you know, actually actively learning. What? That's crazy talk. But the only, like... The only language that was actually like offered at my school was uh, Spanish and like French. Shut up, cat! You dare defy me? Are you, did they any? Uh, did they offer any languages at your school? Uh, not really. I mean, thought you don't want to get that ginger. Yeah, I guess I might as well. I mean, like... The problem is, like, languages are usually, like, considered... You know, like, extra shit. Yeah. And schools don't have money for that. That saddens uh, me. Yeah, I mean, that, that stuff would definitely come in handy for a oh, lot yeah. of people, too. Oh, yeah. Like, knowing any other language. At least any, like, relevant language. Yeah. Can honestly get you far. Because if you, like, if you can speak a language, then if you go to, like, any... I, I don't know. It, like, it definitely doesn't hurt anything. Like, whatsoever. To know a different language. Yeah. <clears throat> But the best bet we got is, like, doing Rosetta Stone. <clears throat> but even that, I mean... How much do those cost? I've never A lot of money. It. Yeah. <sighs> like, I was on a, like, Groupon, and it's like, Yeah, super special deal for select language here, $300. And I'm like... I was just lucky that um, I was able to obtain it from one of my friends like a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> and I learned a very little bit, a bit amount of Japanese. I corn hardly believe it. What? Corn hardly? 
But you're a cow. You don't have anything. Did you just shit out a puzzle piece? Yep. I was so surprised that you did something. I, I don't want this. Mm -hmm. Covered in you ate this. Covered in poopy. But the way Rosetta Stone works is like it's interesting, you know. Yeah. It's not like how a cla like a language class would like just be like, oh, this means this. Like if you look at a book, you know, right. it'll have a sentence and it's translated. It like shows you a picture, and then it gives a like voice. Like an audio, uh, like what it's translated into. Okay. Like it'll show a picture of a boy, and it'll say the Japanese word for boy. Because remember, the commercials always told, like, uh, they always explained, like, um, it wasn't traditional. It tell you, like, how it, it tries to teach you, like, naturally. Because, you know, like, if a Japanese mom was, is not gonna, like, teach their kid like apple like the Japanese word it's like yeah that's that's English for apple you know yeah they're not gonna like translate it they're just gonna say this is this so basically like they'd show a picture and then they'd say what that is in Japanese and then sent it to like a voice recognition software it would say that then you'd have to say it and then if you said it correctly, it would move on. And then, like, I completed, like, part one of level one. And there's, like, 25 parts. And then there's, like, six levels. Mm. So it's pretty... It's pretty long. And it takes its time, too. Yeah. And then, like, every fourth of the way there, it gives you, like, a mini test of what you've learned. Okay. Basically to make sure you're retaining the information. <clears throat> yeah, it's actually, like, it's pretty neat. Like, it's... I don't think you're gonna speak fluently Japanese when you complete it, but it'll give you a very good basic understanding. Yeah. <laughs> like, um... I'm trying to think of... I've I've lost some of that information because it's been it's been years yeah. since I've tried it out. Um, like they they taught you like uh you know like simple words, like um, water is a uh, mizu, and uh, apple is ringo, and uh, milk is a uh, ginyu actually, Captain Ginyu. It all made sense when I uh, when I learned that. Because if you f if you use Captain Ginyu in any like Dragon Ball Z fighting game, all of his special moves are dairy based. Yeah. Like Milky Cannon. Yep. And then like I learned that Milk actually just means it, it's it's translated to Ginyu, and I'm like, well then. <laughs> Like, if you could find a way to get it, I would definitely recommend trying it out. Damn it. Because they have, they have, a they have, light, like, they have programs for a lot of languages. Yeah, like, I know. looked at the list. Like, they have, um, Japanese, um, Chinese, um, I think it, like, like, you know, different, a couple types of Chinese. Because, you know, like, there's Cantonese, yeah, and Mandarin, there's, Chinese. There's, and, there's a lot yeah. of like it, like it has, Chinese. It has those. Um, Indian, Egyptian, um, English. There's, that, there's, there's one for English. Um, Greek, German, Polish, like, French. Basically, like, any major language that you could think of. Yeah. Yeah, I might get back to that someday. Yeah. God, I wish I would have learned the language when I was younger. 
Yeah, makes it a lot easier. I wish I would have learned a lot of things, but I was lazy as fuck. Then my dog's barking upstairs, and maybe she just agrees with me that I should have learned something. I mean, how would she know? <laughs> yeah, I only got her four years ago. Which, yeah, like, literally two days ago was the day I brought her home. Yeah. Like, four years ago. It's crazy. I know. And to think. I thought she was not going to be with us. You know, like, in the beginning of January. Yeah. Because of that whole thing that I never fully explained on the channel. Well, I mean... Oh, did you, did you get the hurdy right there? Yeah, I did. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, for that story. Um, my dog, Gooby, was uh, not feeling too well in uh, November of last year, like around Thanksgiving. And we took her to the vet. And, like, she had this swelling in her, uh, in her neck. And we got her x-rays, and they said the x-rays came back, and, like, all the tests came back, and that she possibly had cancer. And then we took her for another appointment, like a special cancer doctor, and we had more tests done, and he basically confirmed it. And he said that there was nothing we could do, basically, and that she only had three months to live. That was in November yeah. of last year. It is almost the end of July of this year. Which is double the amount of time. Sure showed him. The weird thing was, though, that when we got home, she act she was acting like she was on her last legs. Like, she like looked like she accepted her fate. And, you know, like, I was fucking, I was heartbroken. Yeah, I mean, why wouldn't she be over something like that? And, you know, like, the lump on her, um... Uh, the lump on her neck was getting bigger. And then, uh... I don't want to say, like, I don't want to be cheesy and say it's a Christmas miracle, but literally the day after our Christmas party, she felt better. And the swelling in her neck goes down, went down, and the, the lump's not even there anymore. Yeah. Which, that's crazy. And, like, she, she acts, like, 100%, you know, like her normal self. Doesn't show any pain whatsoever. Because, like, you couldn't even touch her neck without her, like, crying out in pain. Yeah. Now, she just acts like how she normally does. Yeah. And, like I said, I don't... I don't want to sound like cheesy by saying it was a Christmas miracle, but it kind of seems that way. It, 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 it kind of was. <laughs> like, literally the day after the Christmas party. So, I, I don't know. She's a good dog. Yeah. She just gets excited a little too much sometimes. So what are we fighting now? Because I wasn't completely paying attention. Uh, we're fighting a statue. Is it some weird totem pole thing? Basically, yeah. I see. <laughs> Moggies. Yeah, they're not gonna do anything. Like, fuck you. Oh god, he's coming. Man, your eggs do a lot more damage than fucking Bumbo's actual magic. Yep. Eggs versus magic. <laughs> like, who would have thought, right? Crazy. Yeah. <sighs> I can remember, was this, like, camera angle in the first one? Nope. Nope, you, uh, you never played Doom in the first game. This isn't Doom. You're right. It's Briegel Doom. No, it's more like... 
Holy quake. Because Doom was always that, like, not exactly 3D, kind of 3D thing. Well, it's not 3D. It's 2D. Like, it had, it had 3D range of movement. No. It, it pretended it did. Completely 3D. You can, you can, you can, you can ask the guy who made it that kind of fell out of grace because he made a shitty game afterwards. And that game was Die Katana. Never heard of it. That was like the first game that John Tron ever reviewed. Yeah, no joke. Hmm. <coughs> like, uh, John Romero left id Software and, uh, you know, said he was gonna make his own game company and, uh, make a game. So it was gonna kick Doom's ass. And then it got delayed. <sighs> and the game was like near complete, and then a new engine came out. And then they switched to that engine, so the game had to be built up from the ground up again. And then the game released, and it was awful, and yada yada yada. I swear I've heard this story before. <laughs> a lot of times. Yeah. Like Duke Nukem Forever, Too Human. Aliens Colonial Marines. <laughs> Assault Simulator 2013. Mm. AKA Mighty Number no. 9. Mm -hmm. It's better than nothing. According to who? Keiji Unofune. Yeah. Well, we, we did it. We got the jiggies. And on that note, we'll catch you guys in the next episode. Like a lot of game. Just. Game developers, take note. Don't try and hype up your game to make it like it's the next coming of Christ. Yeah. And then it's not. I mean, when it's delayed that long, half the time is honestly the, the fans like thinking it's going to be the greatest thing ever. Yeah. Like, that's how Duke Nukem Forever and uh, Two Cuban was. And Aliens Colonial Marines. Because that was... Because people were hopeful because... Gearbox was publishing it. How can Borderlands yeah. steer us wrong? It's like, buddy, Gearbox actually didn't really do anything. No, they're just like, they kind of just, yeah, they kind of just gave money and published it. They let this happen. <laughs> At least Alien Isolation was good. Still haven't played it. It's, um,. It's a lot Have better you actually than, played it? Or? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's a lot better than Colonial Marines. Because it actually makes you feel like you would be in an alien scenario. Like, you're the only one there, and, like, the alien is stalking you, and you feel alone, and you can't do anything because the alien is an actual threat. Yeah. Like, it's... Yes, indeed. God damn it, I wish I had that amp. <laughs>